It's July 12th, 1979, and the Chicago White Sox are set to play the Detroit Tigers in the second game of a doubleheader. That night, 55,000 spectators showed up. This event is remembered not because of the game, but because of what happened right before it. It was disco demolition night. a disco-hating radio DJ thought it'd be hilarious to blow up hundreds of disco records in center field. This moment went down in history as the night disco died. Chicago's youngest music producers and DJs would completely reinvent dance music by playing those disco records over hard-hitting electronic drum machines. In the city that disco died, it was reborn as house music, and within a decade, it would travel the globe. Frankie Knuckles, one of the godfathers of house, called it disco's revenge. disco-hating radio DJ thought it'd be hilarious to blow up hundreds of disco records in center field. This moment went down in history as the night disco died.
somewhere switched on. Switch on.